The Republican health care bill is the hottest topic in America right now, and the gloves seem to be off. People are getting loud and really kind of downright pissy across the country. And Newsweek's Kurt Eichenbos even tweeted, as one with a pre-existing condition, I hope every GOPer who voted for Trump Care sees a family member get long-term condition, lose insurance, and die. Whoa. That's uh, Newsweek. <laughs> I, I, you know, as somebody who has a pre-existing condition, uh, pre condition, that's kind of where folks are at. Well, he has epilepsy. Yeah. yeah. What he's talking about really is empathy. Because, you know, if you think about it, sometimes people cannot empathize with others unless they have someone very close to them going through it or whether or not they're going that's through right. it themselves. Well, I and I think that's what, you know, he said it a little inartfully, I think. A little? <laughs> I don't but, think but that little? was inartful. Well, I think that's somebody who's suffering from something who says, listen, y'all didn't have to do what you did, the way yeah. you did it. Yeah. And basically, you're giving me the middle finger, so I'm giving you five <laughs> fingers back. Yeah. Well, and I think it's putting salt in the wound when they keep saying, don't worry, you'll still be able to go to an emergency room. He makes the point when he explains his statement that people with certain chronic illnesses, you can't just show up in an emergency room and get chemotherapy. Yeah. You they can't they go do and get you yeah. Remember that part so, of the reason yeah. That, yeah. that folks fought so hard to get care passed and let's not call it Obamacare let's call it Kennedy care because he was the guy who's been driving this truck Teddy Kennedy, Teddy Teddy Kennedy. Kennedy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so one of the reasons he wanted this to go through is to keep people from going to the emergency room with everything yeah. because people couldn't afford to go if you can't afford it they have to treat you in the emergency room yeah. and that's what and that's the what the GOP really that's more expensive say, for everyone as, as far yeah. as how horrible this sounded I mean he's talking basically about a Republican Congress that that just tried to pass a, a law that would kick 24 million people, women, children, uh, who were at risk off of the insurance rolls, and then they celebrated. They and started to clap it. Well, all. I mean, that to me is and more, have, but but that is more obscene it. to me than what he said. And saying that people should die? Yes. I mean, this he's, is terrible. He's using hyperbole. When I read this, this, this made me sick, though, because the implication here... It didn't here, make you sick when they were celebrating? So, when they're, what they're celebrating, they're not celebrating people being being thrown off the wall. Yes, they what are. What are they're they celebrating. It, what, they have a ton of constituents that have gone to them over the last X amount of years and said, we can't afford our health care. There are single moms out there. Let's there get are real. tons of people that, no, let's get real because no. a lot of people have not been able to afford health care and have gone to these representatives and said, please help me. And they're celebrating health care before the Affordable That's Care Act. Nonsense. It has nothing. That's nonsense. Wait, wait a, a lot of people let's have no Hold up, hold up. Let hold me on. be honest. Let's That's be honest on. about it. Hold on. They are saving money. They are taking billions out of Medicaid so that they can give tax breaks to the rich in the next budget. That's what, That's what, what this is about. Okay, but... The implication here is that Republicans are like aliens. Republicans have moms. Well, they have moms and they yeah. have children and they have grandparents. But they have the They're ability to take care of their... Right. Listen, here's the thing. Here's the thing. <clears throat> People have said, you know, help me. And so what do the Republicans do? They slash the very people who need the help. Instead of saying to the insurance companies, hey, let's figure out a way to help these people, my constituents, have insurance that works for them and their families with the amount of money that they have. That's not what these guys did. But they is, took, no, they took a quick, they no, did it's, it differently. No, you might not they like they the way they, they did it, but that is what they did. And they slashed and burned, and now they're paying. What? Because all these people that voted for this may not be in office the next time an election comes up. Okay, let me just say, under this bill, and I don't like this, this isn't, this isn't the way I would have done it, but they are, they did go to the insurance companies and say, what can we do? Then and they provide, they fighting that? they're guaranteeing why are they coverage. Their, why are they fighting they're their They're guaranteeing coverage for pre-existing conditions. The insurance companies $8 right, billion. Dollars. Here's the no, here's the problem. You can't pay for everything. There's not a pot of gold at the end of a rainbow with money for everybody. Well, if you're giving so huge you tax breaks, of course not. If you yeah. guarantee pre-existing coverage, you have to find money for that somewhere. This is true. And there's, you can't and find we're people's pockets who can't afford it. Go ahead.
uh, oh, okay. with this oh, about uh, Senator Gillibrand who's coming up, but you wanted to say something because you haven't said anything. Yeah. Well, I was just going to yeah. chime in that what I heard here, even though what he said sounds harsh on the surface, was a man that's responding so personally to what so many of us responded to. Politics has never been more personal than when you're talking about life or death yeah. and people's health. That's right. And when you look around, this pre-existing condition pretty much included every single human being it that I know. You know well, yeah. and, and, and it and a lot of times gave women a slap in the face because yes. it was postpartum post -part depression. -section. It was C-sections. It, mm -hmm. uh, it was maternity care. So many things. So I think it was hard to react to this with any sense of calm or logic mm -hmm. when you're talking about people facing these illnesses. Mm -hmm. And this gentleman specifically yeah. faces yeah. epilepsy. And, and his wife is going to be responsible yes. for his And as we've care. discovered, we found this with Nancy Reagan. Right. I was just going to You know, uh, oh. once uh, her husband needed stem cells, mm -hmm. everybody was all for it. Yeah. Well, she was. I mean, she was all yeah. for it. She changed her mind. But, you know, it's not until stuff affects people yeah. personally. Jamie and his, what about Jamie Jamie and his daughter, yes. who, who was openly gay? Okay. All of a sudden, in 2009, our vice president is supportive of same-sex marriage. And that's because quick, it affected that's not his leadership. leadership. Just one quick that's point not on leadership. that. Representative yeah. Kathy McMorris Rogers, she's a Republican. Her son Cole has Down syndrome. She supports this law, this bill, because of the way they address pre-existing conditions, citing the, the, the state of Maine and saying that when they put these high-risk pools in there, to address pre-existing conditions, which is what this bill does. The cost for people went down and the ability to get pre-existing uh, pre condition coverage increased. So there are people who care. I just want to say on both sides of the aisle who care deeply about this issue, there's just a different way of addressing it. Well, and it's, it's, it's they don't care enough about those 24, 24 million well people there. that won't have health insurance. That's they don't care enough about that. We're going. We'll be right back with more Hot Top. Woo.